talk about um, the coordinate system and pivots. So we were talking about the global, local, right? So what I was saying was, um, if you if you select things at the object level, right? So in this case, let's let's hit the space bar. Let's get a move. This will move the object along the world x y z right now it's the same in max here you go into max um i've got this uh, sphere uh, let me just uh, maximize that so if i come into here i mean with all these uh packages you can move things relative to the view that you're looking at which might not necessarily line up with where the world is you know this this view option here or screen you know it's, it's relative to sort of the screen but if you go to world then your pivot points on your object are aligned with your world pivot points so the the um the orientation of your pivot matches the orientation of world xyz right so this this is this is obviously useful if you're uh, if you want to move to a particular location, obviously view and screen have their uses, uh, but I think those things are more valuable when you're working at the component level. So, for example, if I go to vertex in this and I grab this vertex here, so if I want to kind of move it relative to, so I say I want to move this out in Z, right? So if I go to the local, what you can see is, is that the Z axis is pointing out, right? So it's pointing upwards. So I can move this up in Z, right? So similarly, if I wanted to move this up, if I wanted to move this vertex up, what might be helpful would be to use like the view or the screen mode, right? So if I... If I come here, I mean, with with um, 2ds Max, you can uh, you can constrain to 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 the faces um, that is down here, right? You can constrain to edge, or you can constrain to face, and you can you can try and move this. Hang on, uh, here we go. If I move this up in Y, now you can see it's sort of constrained to the face. But this, using the world axis, uh, using the screen mode in, in the component mode, allows me to do that. Now, if I try to do that with the world, I'm going to turn off this uh, uh, constraint. Just turn the constraints off. So now, this gets a little bit, you know, fiddly when you're working at the component level. Right. So the thing is, in Blender, you've got the you've got the same sort of setup. Let's come here, and if we go to say, let's go into the component mode. We're in object mode, so we'll hit Tab to go into component mode. We'll pick the vertex level, and if I select a vertex here, and I hit the space bar, and I go to the move. Um, global, once again, just like in the previous example, is aligning things to the world X, Y, Z, right? So, in my opinion, not quite as intuitive as using, say, um, the local in this. Um, it doesn't look like it's changed. Bounding box center. I want to go to the local. Okay, normal is what is the equivalent of local in... Uh, blender so uh, so the normal mode is the equivalent to the local mode in 3ds max right so now i can do the same thing that i did in max which is move it along normal this is the kind of thing i want to do with this is i want it to move outwards so what i was the point i was making is if you go to local in max it sort of gives you the same option so the functionality in the two is the same, it's just perhaps different sort of naming conventions.
for that. I mean, the other the other thing where the other point where this becomes handy is when you do extrusions. So say I grab these um, faces here, right? I grab a series of faces, okay, and I go to mesh and I go to extrude. You've got extrude faces as an option. You've got extrude faces along normals. So if I do an extrude faces and I do that, these guys pull up in that sort of direction, right? So if I grab some neighboring polys here, uh, like so, and then I go to mesh and I go to extrude and I go to extrude faces along the normals. Right. You can see that if, if, if I look at this from the top, you can see that when it's done from the normals, so that, that's essentially local mode in 3ds Max, that kind of gives you a nicer result. Whereas if you just extrude in world space, you can see that all these guys just kind of look straight. So that's what you would use these kind of things for, right? Um, that's where the pivot systems and the coordinate systems become important. Um, and with that, let's move on.